Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you view this video. As always, keep an open mind, take what resonates, disregard the rest. Never force anything to fit. If it's not applicable to you, then it's just not applicable to you. Uh, you can watch any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to. Thank you all so, so much for your likes, your shares, and all your wonderful comments. Oh, judgment. And death card. Oh, oh. Final decision on some sort of big change, big ending. Or, or an epiphany that something is already ended, has already ended. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for all your wonderful comments. Um, I love reading about your stories and your feedback and your confirmations and all the beautiful things and beautiful and kind things that you say to me. I really, really appreciate it and I send you lots of love in return. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy and the Knight of Cups. Oh, some sort of offer coming your way with the Queen of Wands. Oh, look at that. All right, now I don't say this often or lightly, but sometimes the king and queen of wands showing up together in a reading can talk about some sort of twin flame situation. There's going to be some sort of offer made with that for some of you. For others of you, you may have a fire sign coming your way or regardless of the, their sign, they could have fire and, and water in their chart, but there's an offer, there's an invitation, there's an expression of, of love or expression of interest coming your way. I feel like someone's very taken with you, <laughs> very smitten with you. They may or may not tell you. I don't know. That could just be all side messages. Ten of Swords and the Hermit. They either just got out of something or they need to get out of something. They put, need to put an end to something to be able to come your way. And for some of you, I feel like you're meeting someone new. It's a really good match. But just be aware, they just got out of a long-term thing. And for those of you, it's like, it's a new opportunity to collaborate, to team up, to start something with someone, but they've just ended either a relationship or just got out of a contract recently, or there's that kind of feel to it. All right, let's just pull some cards because I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> so we just need to do the reading. Okay, forget about my intro. I don't even know what I said, what I didn't say anymore, but yeah, thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, and for subscribing to the channel. All right, Pisces, what's going on for Pisces? Okay. This is the Santa Muerte tarot deck. I'll show you the box in a minute. For those of you who wanna know, here we go. All right, Pisces, bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. The feeling that I'm getting with the Empress, Pisces, you know something's coming or you're aware of how someone feels or you're aware, like you know something's coming, okay, with the Empress and you're sitting there all coy, male or female, doesn't matter. Like, all right, yeah, you take your time, but I'm, I know you're coming my way, right? I know how you feel. I know what you're thinking. For those of you, I just get this like Venus venusian type energy where again i don't know what's happening pisces but i feel like there's a lot of love in the air and if it's not romantic it's someone really being taken with you like pisces is amazing like look at pisces you look good you smell good you know what you're doing you got your stuff together oh let's see Hangman in the current situation, you could be dealing with another Pisces or this could be you. But there's a lot of observation going on with the Hangman and the Empress. I'm telling you, someone's watching you from, from near or far, looking at you like you're the best thing since sliced bread. And I mean, you know, they're not wrong, are they? All right, so what's up with that then? In the challenge, we have the Fool. I get the sense that someone is having to stop themselves from taking a leap of faith in your direction. And we're going to see as to why. 
but yeah I just get someone's trying to someone's catching themselves falling in love and they're trying to snap themselves out of it because they're like I can't do this like this can't happen but I feel like they're too far gone already very interesting reading so far Pisces and it's like they have to hold themselves back from not grabbing your hand or not hugging you all the time or not telling you how they feel or not asking you out even though they, they really want to Queen of Swords in the foundation they could be dealing with someone else they could be involved in something else so that's why they they have to like because this is like also them trying to just snap out of it come back to reality not feel the way they're feeling in the recent past we have the knight of wands this is uh, a recent trip that might have been significant relocation a big change happening in someone's life but it could also be some sort of gathering or event or they kind of just sparked this person's passion got them all fired up about you for some of you this is you don't see this coming this is a new person um, that either can bring you an opportunity in terms of love or in terms of work, money, your business. Um, that is just going to pop up in your life. And make you all sorts of offers. And it could be you looking at it like, this, see, this seems great, this seems amazing, but I just want to make sure I'm level-headed and seeing everything for what it is. Let's keep going. We'll split up the scenarios as we go. On the mind, the moon. Listen, I'm telling you, someone, this like the Empress and the moon on the mind, someone's falling in love here, Pisces. But they're holding themselves back either because they just got out of something. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Oh, man. Okay. Either because they just got out of something and it's almost like I didn't think I'd meet someone this fast or this soon. Or it's because they would have to get out of something. They would have to put an end to something in order to come your way. But up to this point, it's all been in their head. Okay, they, This is someone who literally has dreams about you. They daydream about you. But they don't take action with it because they would have to put an end to something else in order to do so. So what's going on today? We have Temperance. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. There's some sort of um, invitation being extended or um, it's something small. It's an offer to help. It's an offer to support in some way, hoping they get closer to you. I feel like this is someone who is trying to, they can't help it but want to get closer to you, but at the same time, they're tr still trying to keep distance. Because again, with the Ten of Wands, either they would need to put something to end, to bring an end to something to fully pursue you, or because they're very burdened by the fact that they're in a contract or they're in a relationship but they're pretty much in love with you or they pretty much want to work with you and not the other person it's a very heavy burden for them and i feel like these um like the full moon and the eclipse energy is really kicking their butt because it, it's just bringing it up for them more and more and more to where they can't hide from it anymore all right let's clarify for pisces but this is like intense this is very intense the hangman in the current situation two of cups two of cups the hangman with the two of cups this is like i found my person i found the perfect place i found the perfect job i found the perfect thing i've been looking at it for a while i'm pretty sure it is the perfect thing for me wow the fool in the challenge position the six of pentacles 
no sorry the nine of pentacles that's what it is in the in the challenge position the nine of pentacles with the fool someone would have to break up with someone else to be single in order to come your way and that's what the burden is okay or to be open to be available Queen of Swords and the Foundation. Ten of Pentacles, another ten. Someone, I feel like this is someone in a long-term relationship or a marriage or in a, a well-established dynamic that is, it's either stable or it's prosperous or there's money there, there's security, there's stability, but there's not emotion their heart isn't in it because their heart is with you and i feel like that is a very heavy burden for them because up to this point they've been explaining things away they've been running away avoiding their feelings but i feel like with this full moon that we're under as i'm doing this reading it's just illuminating exactly what things are and that's burdening them the Knight of Wands in the recent past, the Knight of Pentacles. Something changed, okay, with two knights. A trip could have been significant. I also get this feeling of follow through. The Knight of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. I get this feeling of follow through. Either you you followed through with something or because it gave this person a sense of I can really count on Pisces Pisces never lies Pisces always do what they does what they say um, what's this knight of pentacles with the knight of wands in the recent past seven of swords yeah I feel like They saw you in a different light somehow, Pisces, to where I can rely on Pisces. I don't, I don't feel this way about anyone else, where if they tell me something, I know I can believe it. I don't have to question it. I don't have to doubt it. Maybe with the Queen of Swords that they're dealing with, male or female, they're not quite sure if they can trust them. They're not quite sure if they can believe what's going on. Maybe there has been some element of lie or or deceit or manipulation or but with you it feels like everything's out in the open everything is honest open reliable i also get a sense that recently they have started to put together a plan or a strategy seven of swords knight of pentacles to implement a change that would enable them to be free to pursue you. Does that make sense? Okay, the moon on the mind, eight of wands. This is someone falling in love, deep and fast, Pisces. They are if it's not romantic love or, or anything like that, this is someone who's inspired by you. Whenever they spend time with you, they're inspired, they get creative, they got a million different ideas, they, they get energy, like they can feel low, but as soon as they spend five minutes with you, they're very energized, they're fired up, they wanna go do stuff, get stuff, you know what I mean? They're also planning on some sort of communication, like the Eight of Wands and the Moon. But the Eight of Wands with the Moon is also communication will be coming your way. They could be talking to you. Um, maybe with the Page of Pentacles, again, it's just like, it's uh, very practical. Do you need help with this? Do you need me to drive you there? Do you need this and then the other? That's the Page of Pentacles, right? Okay, let's see. Temperance, Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. We have the Two of Wands, 
the lovers and the ten of swords and now we have all the tens out i feel like this is someone who is becoming very very clear on this choice that they've been struggling with okay with the lovers and the empress they're very clear on the fact that they want something else with the two of wands and what they're in needs to end in order for this new union, new partnership to happen between the two of you. I feel like they've exhausted all the reasons as to why this can't happen or they can't do this because this is what they've been telling themselves. And they're getting to a point where with the Eight of Wands and the Moon, there's also just going to they're going to give, give themselves away somehow. They're just going to blurt something out to you or the other person. What else for Pisces? We have strength, the Ace of Pentacles, and here's that Knight of Cups again. And gain the courage and the strength. Leo energy could be significant. To come at you with that offer. Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Is, a, is some sort of declaration of love, but also can we build something here? Can we start something here? Because I feel like this is going to be something really beautiful, really solid, long-term potential. What's under the Empress? We have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, Four of Swords, Six of Swords. Yeah, so see, this is someone who was closed off. Seven of Wands closed off because I'm in something else. Four of Wands. I'm in this different dynamic, different relationship, different job, different contract. Four of Swords. They've been doing this for quite some time. Four of Swords with the Six of Swords, however, and Judgment again. It's becoming very clear to them that they they just they just need to be somewhere else okay or this could be you pisces but um whether or not they're actually telling you what's going on whether or not they're actually making this offer at this time if nothing else this um in the next day or next couple of days they're making the decision they're having the epiphany that something needs to end or pretty much is done anyway and then they're the plan is to come your way with three nights ten all the tens out okay and then three nights two of cups and the lovers on the board This is someone who, whatever the decision is, if it's about a person, if it's about a job, if it's about a living situation, whatever, okay? I'm getting love for a lot of you, but not everyone's dealing with love, okay? But whatever it is, this is someone who is now very clear that what's in front of them, uh, what's in front of them is, are two options where it's just different levels all right you could be in the two of cups relationship where you get on it's more i don't know what to call it i don't want to like downplay anything but it's like a surface level you get on you have a good laugh you go out on dates you know you watch the same kind of movies you go through life everything's fine right or you could have the lovers type of relationship connection where it's deeper like you have everything that you have in the two of cups relationship just amplified and deeper okay you can have spiritual conversations with this person they inspire you they challenge your beliefs they help you grow okay it's not always comfortable um but it, it results in growth it results in development it results in growing even closer and going even deeper together okay it's just a different level of connection and they may have been fighting this and running away from it and trying to avoid it because 
with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, I can't really complain of the relationship I have. You know, I can't really say I, why I want to leave it. I, you know, I should be happy here. Or this could be someone telling them you should be happy with what you have. This could be someone telling them, you know what, Pisces, you think you're thinking that the grass is greener, so be careful what you're thinking, right? And all that kind of stuff. And they took a long time to observe this, to really make up their mind about how they feel about it, what they think about it. And there's something with the energy that's been that's going on that brings them that clarity. It could be that full moon, it could also be the eclipse brings them that clarity of no I see it for what it is now and I want to go towards it I want to this is what I want my life to be this is where I want to live this is what I want to do for a living this is what fulfills me this is the type of person I want to be with this is the type of relationship I want to be with And again, there's this, uh, this realization that whatever it is that they are having to leave behind is done anyway. All the tens are out. It's gone as far as it can go. Okay, so if it's a job, you've gone as far as you can within that company. There's nowhere to go from that point on. You can't get promoted. You, can't, you can either make a side move or just keep going around in circles, but you can't advance further than where you are. But it's like, for a long time, you thought, you know what, that's great, that's perfect, that's fine, it's good enough. And then you slowly started thinking, I don't really feel creative anymore, I don't really feel, feel inspired here, it doesn't really challenge me, I wanna go further, I wanna develop, I wanna do this and then the other, and the place I'm in, the company I'm with, just cannot do that for me, they don't offer me that. And when you look around, other companies offer that, other opportunities are available that would take you to, you know, growth, expansion, making more money, developing your knowledge, developing your skills, challenging you to grow, okay? And you're saying, you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, my current job is comfortable and it's great and I can't really complain about it. But I feel like I'm not growing. I feel like, and I, I don't think I'm okay with that. I want more. You know, that's the situation. That's that's what I'm seeing. Let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. So, yeah, someone's coming to that kind of a conclusion during this time. Um, whether they actually come your way to tell you about it or not yet, they will. Look, the lovers. Proposal, another nine, another nine. Proposal, 27, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated with that Knight of Cups, with the Ace of Pentacles, yeah? Lovers, 18, another nine. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself, the lovers, the two of wands. And I feel like this is someone who's finally true to, to themselves. And 36, another nine. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life with the world card. Something is coming to a close. Something is coming to completion. Uh, or someone's realizing that something has been completed for a while now. Um, it can't go any further. And I do see that for some of you this is a situation where this person didn't want to end something. They didn't want to because they felt guilty about it. They felt bad about it. They felt selfish about it. But this is the situation where the eclipse is happening, where this ending is happening anyway, because it's a dead end situation at this point. It's gone as far as it can. And from this point on, it's only going to start holding this person back. And so the universe is stepping in and eclipsing it out. It's not as uh, um, disruptive as the tower. It's a similar energy where if we don't make a decision that we really should be making, we know we should be making, we're just avoiding it. Um, then the universe, at some point, the universe steps in and makes it for us. It's similar to that, just not as disruptive. And it's not as disruptive because I feel like for some of you, this is someone hoping someone else would initiate the ending. For some of you, this could be the other person initiating the end, and this person going, you know what? Cool. Awesome. Thank God. <laughs> I 
you know? Because there is a change in someone's status that has happened recently somehow that they're secretly very happy about. Because now it allows them to think of you, to come your way, to start making plans to do that. Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Okay. A time to say goodbye. Um, listen, something's about to end for now. The number 13 adding up to a 4. Something that was stable, secure, okay, Ten of Pentacles, it's coming to an end. But uh, with that, what I'm getting is, yes, there's an ending, but there's also something new starting. Because you're not sitting in the ending energy for, for a long time. That's why it says something's about to end for now. For now, this is an ending, but it brings you a new beginning. Hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends, number 10, another 10. And this is like lining up with something or someone that is your tribe, your people, your perfect match. Beauty and the beast, you need some space in a relationship, number 8. For some of you, the nights could be where someone took some time and some distance to figure out what they really want to do because they came to the conclusion that they're going around in circles with the number eight and it's not going beyond the point they're at. It's done, it's like, you know, it's dead. Snow White and her animal friends, another nine, you inspire trust and confidence. And this is you sitting there like with the Empress. If this is going on external to you, you're assuming they're thinking, I know who I am, I know what I have to offer, I know my worth, I can see you're trying to make your way towards me but you need to figure it out on your own because that's part of the leveling up that you have to do for us to be on the same level, you know? Or this is the other person or the other opportunity waiting for you to do what you need to do and they're just inspiring you. That's how they're supporting you. They're inspiring you. They're encouraging you. But they're leaving you to make your own decisions because th that's what needs to happen. Okay, but there's some sense of clarity, epiphany, that an ending needs to happen or an ending needs to be made official. Let's talk about it. This isn't going anywhere, right? Because whoever this is, if it's you or someone else, they've already found what they truly want and it's not where they are, okay? Okay. And again, it could be place to live, it could be job, it could be relationship, whatever it is. And I feel like they weren't even aware that in the time they tried to run away from this, they actually fell in love with that thing, that person, that idea, that house, whatever the situation is. And I feel like there's been a trip or there's going to be a trip or this, there's this sense of pause and distance that gives them that perspective with the hangman of if they're in a relationship and there's a pause or someone's traveling for whatever they have that perspective of I haven't seen my spouse or my partner in a couple of days but the only person I'm thinking of is Pisces why is that like what's going on here you know why don't I miss my partner and why do I miss Pisces oh well that, that must be where my heart is I must have feelings there and you know what I mean it's just a lot of clarity and a lot of confirmation that they're getting or if there has been a recent pause or separation or some sort of change in the status change of plans they're secretly happy about it because they're like, okay, cool, then that gives me time to plan my way to go to Pis Pisces, right? They're not planning to go back and work on the situation that's on pause. They're planning to come your way or, you know what I mean? That's, that's the kind of dynamic. If this is external to you, I feel like for a lot of you, you don't, you don't know because we have the moon there. You don't know. You kind of intuitively pick up that this is going on but you don't have that clarity that confirmation yet in the 3d 
So Pisces, you just carry on. You do you with the Empress. Invest in yourself. Nurture yourself. But just be aware that this other person or this other opportunity is really making the moves and making the changes necessary to be able to come your way. Um, and for others of you, you may get, they may start to pick up the conversation. They may start to message you more often. Or they're asking if you need support with anything or they're giving you small gifts. Okay, just know that that's their way of initiating things and they're building their way um, building up to an invitation or that honest conversation about feelings and int intentions and, and all that kind of stuff. If this is a situation where you are waiting for money or resources or a, a confirmation or a contract or approval to leave this situation that's kind of a dead end and to start something new for yourself, whether that is starting your own business with the Nine of Pentacles, whether it's relocation and putting money down on a, on a new place, whether it's moving out on your own, whether it's changing jobs, just know that the confirmation is coming, the money is coming, the approval is coming, the loan is coming that allows you to switch from thing, the thing that's kind of a dead end in that it can't grow any further, can't get any better to where you really want to go, what you really want to do, okay? Ace of Pentacles, the bottom of the, of the deck again. All right, so let's see. Let's do your yes or no question. This is where you pause the video, you think of your question in a way that you need a yes or no answer. And then you pick a number between one and three. And just keep an open mind. These are still general at the end of the day. One, two, and three. All right, if you picked number one, I see the fool. Yes, it's happening. Yes, it's coming. Or yes, go for it. The time is now. Take a chance. Do something different. Just go for it. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. If you chose number two, your answer is yes. New contracts, new teams, new groups, collaborations, new partnerships are being formed. Uh, approvals, uh, positive feedback in terms of reviews of any kind. Good news in terms of money, in terms of uh, something developing, something growing, something going to the next level. And if you chose number three, yes is across the board. Your answer is yes again. I don't know if this counts nudity, but there we go. Um, with the sun, big fat yes. Victory energy. I just get just very like you being very excited and even like tears of joy with this. Good news in terms of anything involving your health. I'm not a medical professional. Um, just trust your doctors, but that's what I'm seeing. So I'm offering it to you. You may apply for some. Uh, especially anything to do with fertility, anything to do with pregnancy, anything to do with giving birth, um, but also reaching your goals when it comes to your health, when it comes to your weight. Um, and also a sense of victory. I feel like for some of you, you're finding the right treatment for yourself or you're finding the right diet for yourself or you're finding the right exercise routine for yourself because it's almost like something just clicks into place and you're starting a healthier track somehow. Or I also get, I heard cured uh, or something is completely gone or something along those lines is what I'm saying. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Let me know in the comments how you resonate with the reading if you do. What's the scenario for you? Which, which side of the fence are you on? Are you the one making the decision or are you the one just kind of taking your time looking after yourself but intuitively you know there's something coming and someone's making their way to you and it's not easy for them but they're doing it um are you waiting for a loan are you waiting for the contract are you waiting for that approval to go from something that has kind of run its course and you want to just start something different something fresh something more something better for yourself okay Looking forward to your comments. Stay tuned for your weekly reading. And I'm probably going to do another you versus them because we haven't done that in a while. So stay tuned for that. But Pisces, have a great day. Thank you for being here with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.